Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the control panel in your dishwasher, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance. Open the door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread all four screws, securing the outer door panel. With the screws unthreaded, you can pull the panel down to detach. Using a T20 Torx bit, unthread the six screws securing the control panel assembly. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the two screws securing the control board cover. Pull back the retainers to release the cover tab and detach the wiring grommet. Pull the retaining tabs back to release the two user interface boards, then disconnect the wire harness from the control board. Pull the retaining tab back to detach the display board, then disconnect the wire harness. Next, unthread the mounting screws to release the control board. You're now ready to prepare the new control panel for installation. Confirm that the seal is in place on the panel. Then position the control board and thread the mounting screws. Align the display board and snap it into place. Connect the wire harness to the control board. Slide the two user interface boards into place and connect the wire harness. Secure the wires under the retaining clips. Position the wiring grommet in the control board cover, then snap the cover into place. Thread the two mounting screws. Realign the control panel assembly and secure it with the screws. Reinstall the outer door panel by aligning it on the inner panel, then slide up. Thread the four mounting screws to secure. Turn the power supply back on and your dishwasher should be ready for use.